Hey there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek, and welcome to Nursing Geek Games. If you've come over from my regular channel, thanks for coming along to check out this completely different approach. If you simply stumbled across me because you're a fellow survivor or just by random chance, also welcome. I'm going to be visiting the SurvivorCraft server as I start out on this new adventure of doing Let's Plays. These are not tutorials. I am relatively new to this game. If you want tutorials, this is the guy to see. Even though his Survive and Thrive series is based on older versions of the game because it's actually a few years old at this point. Uh, it's still good and it is largely how I've learned to play the game. So let's pop in to this world. I forgot this was where I left my character. Let's see who's on. Just one other person. I do have the subtitles on from the game itself and I will be captioning the video. Actually by the time you're watching this it should already have captions and we'll see what that means in terms of visibility. If I have to choose, I will turn off the in-game subtitles, partly because I find them very distracting, um, and I think they may end up getting blocked by the captions anyway. Oh, good! Thunderstorm! Well, I just logged into the game, so yeah, of course, there's either a storm or it's night, or both. Currently we're in a savanna biome, so just because it is storming doesn't mean there would be actual rain. But I think I will do. I am. This is not my primary home. And there's not a whole lot to see other than grass and cows. Let's pop back to my main base helps if I can spell home. Yep, it's storming. What in the world is this cat doing? Hi, Rascal. Yeah, no, stay sitting. And Remus. Rascal and Remus were my first two dogs when I set up this base. I was welcomed to the server by my former neighbor, who used to live right over there, Pupsy Girl. She has unfortunately left the server. I don't entirely know why. Um, I know a lot of people, um, you know, found that they weren't having as much time once school started because the server had opened in the summer and then you know, school came back. So that could be it, but I don't honestly know. But she helped me get set up here. She gave me these first two pets, my tame wolf Remus and my cat Rascal. Also the llamas and skelly horse that you can you can see the llamas anyway. I'm not sure where the horse is hiding just outside there. They have a carport style stable that we'll look at once it's, you know, light out. Which with only two of us on, I may be able to make happen. Let's see. Okay. 
Somebody, a gamer I don't know, just got shot by a skeleton. Sorry to see that. Yeah, I didn't think the sleeping thing brought daytime back anymore, but it does at least keep the phantoms away, so there's that. So this is the basement of my base, <laughs> which has a sub-basement. Pupsy Girl um, was uh, someone who really loved the animals aspect of Minecraft. And so she actually shared with me also a couple of turtles who I recently uh, made this little area for them to come outside because they had been living in my sub basement and that really didn't seem right. So I haven't quite figured out how to open it up beyond that. Hi there. but I wanted them to have at least the ability to get out onto the sky. And I gotta create a place for them to swim once I figure out how to make that work. We were starting to expand down here. She had an idea about creating an aquarium of some kind. And I was just sort of letting her run with it. Now I have all this excavated out and no idea what to do with it because I don't actually know how to capture fish alive, <laughs> which would be kind of a prerequisite for a for an aquarium. We have various storage over here, recent ender chest edition. And down here is where I mine when I mine here. That needs some work too, because being the first place that I built and did mining, it there was a lot of trial and error. Lots of error. <laughs> I know most people start these Let's Plays when they first join a server, but I had no idea how to do that, nor whether I would want to do that when I first joined. I recently decided that I would try it because I thought it would be useful to learn this sort of videography for some of the content ideas I have for online classes that I teach. Um, and before I can run too far with that idea, I need to make sure I have an idea what's really possible. So this floor is going to be my brewing floor. Haven't really done much with it yet, clearly. Here's another one of Pepsi Girl's cats. She gifted all of her animals to me when she left the server. I'm slowly working on rehoming them. And good night to Beast Pod. I don't know if they're new. I, I don't think I've met them before. Top floor is actually kind of my dream floor of my dream house. Notice most of the bookcases are nowhere near the enchanting table where they would do the most good because that's not why they're here. They're here because my dream house is pretty much covered, has at least a room that is completely covered in books anywhere there's, there are not windows. Uh, I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. But I do have some other stuff in here too, enchanting table and anvil. Another porch to be able to look outside at the area. And more cats. 
up in the top of this, I ended up creating a greenhouse, partly so that I could move my garden out of the backyard because of wanting to build space for the turtles out there. So I moved my garden or farm, it's a little small to call it a farm, garden to the roof. At the moment I'm mostly growing wheat to feed my cows and sugar to make paper. And I'd be really interested to see what these lights look like in some of the texture packs out there when they're just floating in glass like this. I like them as they are. Um, and I like the way they not only light up the space, but I just kind of like the effect. Um, but it'd be, I'm curious what they look like in some of those other texture packs that I see people using in their Let's Plays. All right, so now that it has at least stopped raining, I am bad at ladders. There we go. I'm getting better at them, but still not great. So let's go see. the outside. Since it's October and Halloween is coming, I do have a bit of a pumpkin patch going. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it or if it's just going to stay there for ambiance. For the moment it's there. The other thing that my dream home would contain is an orchard. Not one on this scale. And this really isn't an orchard, despite the fact that you can get apples out of the oak trees, because Minecraft. Um, but I have a pretty good selection of oak, birch, acacia, spruce, more birch, because I just really like birch. I have one dark oak tree, but considering how large they are, and how much wood they yield. That's kind of enough. I do need to add a jungle wood tree, and I think that'll mean I have all of the woods. And I will at some point set up a shop to sell wood. For now, I've mostly just been giving people wood when they say they need a lot of wood, but there is a trade system here in the, on this server. Um, which means it would make sense to actually have a wood shop. Yeah, I don't want to chop down trees right now. I need to get out of here. Okay. Hi there. Yet another cat. There are the turtles down there. And here we have the llamas. What are you doing, Bones? Okay. So yes, two llamas and a skelly horse. I don't have names for the llamas yet. Uh, same as I don't have names for the turtles yet. I, I just haven't thought of any. But I did feel like a horse and then the dog and cat really needed names. So, if I can actually, there's no problem with the horse getting by there. Oh, never mind. Let's just go this way. Mm hmm. That was a very mournful meow there. Come on. I'm going to have to trim back these trees a little, I guess, at some point. Um, so. This is the home of Nursing Geek, Ramus and Rascal, Bones the Second, actually Bones the First, met an unfortunate end in a boating accident, and then Llamas and Turtles, who, who do not have names. And then we have all the other cats 
primarily cats. There's there's also dogs who need homes. But the ones who followed me over to this house are mostly the cats. Now that it is daylight, let's go back to the savannah. As a an iron supporter, um, I really only have the one home in terms of um, the ability to teleport with just the word home. But I do have a few. No, go away. Okay. So how are we doing for cow count right now? Because of all these additional animals, I do worry about getting over the mob count limit. There is a limit on this server to how many of the same species of animal you can own, which is 10. Um, that's to prevent lag issues. I am, I believe, below that number, but I'm not sure the number itself matters as much when you've got this many total animals. So I do try to keep it down. I mainly have this cow farm so that I can have leather to make books. Um, and I stumbled across this patch that actually had cows totally by accident and it was unclaimed land so I had enough blocks I claimed it. Yes, cows. I think we need... Alright, I mean to be counting here and I'm not counting. One, two, three, four, five. Anybody else hiding over here? No. Okay. Cats, can, can I get in the, the chest, please? Maybe? Let me get that out of my hand before I accidentally hit somebody with it. Okay, come on cows. We need a, a couple more cows. I have at least four adults. So... And we're done. Okay. We have slowly been Kind of moving the tree line away from here because the skeletons do like to hide under those trees and shoot at me during the day which is you know not my idea of fun all right yeah oh yeah stay seated Problem is if I'm if they're not seated when I teleport, sometimes they follow me and sometimes they get very glitchy. So other than thing two, these folks also need homes. I think that's where I'm going to cut out for today. First time trying this, that's gonna be quite enough time to spend captioning so there we go can I get that out of my hand that's just you know silly and I don't actually need the armor on when I'm home there we go all right I'm not very good at this third person business, but okay. So, I'm not trying to hit anything. But there we go. Alright, that's my attempt at waving goodbye. It's not going very well, but you know, first time out. I'm new at this. Until next time, see ya.